the other side of optimizing the content that you create. So obviously I've just showed you in the last video, um, Scale Nut, which gives you your content structure, it uses AI to create the content. I wouldn't just copy and paste this onto your website. It does need further adjustments and human editing um, to make it perfect. Now, obviously, like I said before, you can use Grammarly to, to tidy up some of it um, and it will remove certain keywords and tidy up the grammar and, and, and so on and so forth. The next tool that I like is called Page Optimizer Pro. Now, the price of this tool really depends on, on how many credits per month you want to use. Um, most people will probably be in a single user plan um, doing something like this. Um, but you can basically go for unlimited plans and you can generate reports and, and, and everything else. Now, we've spoken about this Haringey page several times. Um, now, like I said in the last video, it's not perfect when, when it comes to SEO. Um, so what we do is Page Optimizer Pro, um, you run it through the tool. Um, and I've already run it through. You just put in the URL, the keyword, and it will give you a report. Now it's saying that the content optimization score is 33.8 out of 100. So it's not perfect. Um, so I'm going to open the report. So this is, you know, something I use to further optimize the content. Now I'm using the Plimco um, Haringey page in this example. So it's saying that the word count is 2,739. Uh, the target word count, they've already achieved that. So lengthwise, the, the content is perfect. Now, how do we figure out how much content is, is enough? Um, it's obviously these tools analyze the top 10 search results and we'll say on average, everyone's got 2,739 words. So it's up to you to try and match that or beat it. Um, is 500 words going to be enough to, to compete with everyone else who's got 2,700? Absolutely not. So it gives you a guide as to what the, the target word count should be. So a lot of people say, should every page be 500 words? Rubbish, um, absolute rubbish. So your content brief will change um, all of the time. Um, and I use Page Optimizer Pro to, to help me with that. Now, <coughs> on top of that, it tells me what should be used. So the red dots on here is suggestions um, that I'm not using the keyword enough. Green is, of course, um, I'm using it in the target range. Um, and again, that you know, it does the search engine title, it does the page title, it then looks at your subheadings, it then also looks at your main content. Now, I'm talking about reds and greens here, but there is actually a purple as well. So when we go to the main content, the main content doesn't really say much about plumbers and Haringey. Now that's what the, the, the page is supposed to be targeting. But they do have Haringey and plumbers and everything else, so it's fine. It works. Um, it doesn't have uh, certain other things like heating, or, or, or maybe it has too much of heating. So this purple thing, it has 20 instances of the word heating, and it only really needs between 9 and 15. That's comparing to the top other uh, optimised pages. The same with the word emergency. It's used 14 times when we only need to use it between 3 and 5. So the purple marks are over-optimisation. Spammy, not good. Redu reduce that. You know, you want to reduce that uh, to, to more in line with what the competition have got. So if anything, the, the titles and the subheadings are under optimized and the content is over optimized. Now, obviously, Page Optimizer Pro, there's other tools like Surfer, Phrase, they all do a very, very similar job um, and they give you a score to try and better this page. So obviously, if we were to go through and tweak a lot of this stuff, that score would go up. The goal is to get to 100. Not everyone gets to 100, but you want it to be a hell of a lot higher 
than 33.8. Not everyone has the perfect pages, and I'm not saying Page Optimizer Pro or any of the other on-page tools are perfect, but it gives you an idea of how well optimized the competition's pages are. So Page Optimizer Pro does form part of the content writing process. So I do use ScaleNut. I will then use Page Optimizer Pro and also use Grammarly to tidy this up as well. And that would be how to create a solid content structure. Um, now, each page, as I say, will be different. So Plumber's Haringey may need more content than Plumber's Grimsby, for example, uh, based on the competition and everything else that they're doing. So in terms of getting started, you want to try and at least rival what the top 10 search results are doing. It puts you in a good place and you'll at least be up there competing with the top guys. And obviously, as you go throughout the course, implementing your backlinks and all the other kind of stuff, you will start to see yourself, you know, being able to climb up page one. But in terms of getting started, we went through keywords, basic audit, what it looks like, what to tidy up. We will go through that later on uh, more extensively, a big site audit. Um, competitor analysis and content strategy. Those are basic things you need to get started. Um, and then you may go on to the next section and look at local SEO, on-page, off-page, link building, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and we'll go through all of that kind of stuff. But for now, you've got the tools to be able to do keyword research and get some content on the website. And that is some of the basic fundamentals you need to get started in SEO.